My brother and his wife recently got a new puppy, and my mom brought her dog around so they could be introduced to each other for the first time. I thought this would make a good opportunity to get some handheld footage of the two of them running around playing together. The dogs, not my mom and my brother. And to put the new Blackmagic gyro stabilization through its paces. I took the footage back home, was happily editing away, the gyro stabilization was doing a good job, when this happened. What the? I tried again. Same result. I moved on and tried another clip. What the heck? Something wasn't right. I retreated to another room and put together some basic calculations to try and work out just what was happening. What I discovered will have a profound impact on the very nature of life itself on this planet. Okay, in hindsight, that was a bit of an overstatement, but I still think that this is a pretty interesting discovery, and it definitely could affect how you use gyro stabilization going forward. If we look at this clip without the zoom applied, you can sort of see how stabilization works. The computer zooms in on an area of the picture that never moves fully out of the frame, and then uses the gyro data to drag the picture in the opposite direction to any harsh movements, effectively always keeping the picture steady. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. All you really need to know is that the more black that you have around the edge of the screen, the more extreme the zoom in on your final stabilized image is gonna be. So I went back and checked the clips I was having problems with. Everything looked okay until this. See how much black we have compared to the image? If we watch the clip all the way through like this, you can see the safe area, in inverted commas, that the computer can zoom into is getting smaller and smaller. And when we watch with zoom turned on, sure enough, we are super zoomed in, right down to a pixel level. In theory, if we cut out the parts with the most black, the zoom in shouldn't be as strong. So that's what I did. And it worked. You can see the footage is now usable. So my theory is that a really big hard movement in one direction and then another in the opposite direction at any point throughout the video narrows down the usable area that can be zoomed into to such a small point it becomes, well, unusable. It's all very well having a theory, but if you can't recreate it, then you can't prove it. So I went out and put it to the test. And it worked. Or it didn't. Depends how you look at it, really. But it proved that footage with a huge change in direction left or right causes the stabilization to zoom into an unusable level. At this point, some of you are probably thinking, oh, you used the strength slider to fix this. You just need to dial it down a bit. In fact, somebody's probably already put that in the comments. And at first, that's what I thought as well. But with more investigation, I'm not sure it actually works this way. Check this out. Same clip four times. The first is unstabilized. The second with max strength settings. The third dialed down by about 50%. Not much of an improvement. And the last dialed down about 75%. Now the same clip with the offending frames cut out. So much better. Dialing down the strength does reduce the zoom some, but it also reduces the strength of the stabilization, so you're still getting a wobbly shot. It's far better to cut out the bad frames if you can. Some of you might think that I'm being ungrateful, and I'm really not. I think it's absolutely fantastic that Blackmagic have unlocked this feature for us. But I also think it's important to know its limitations. If you're thinking of doing some Jason Bourne style handheld work and you're going to be jumping through windows and kicking people and you were hoping that the gyro stabilization was going to smooth all that out in post for you, well, it's not. On a more practical note, you need to know that the shakier your footage is, the more zoom it's going to apply to try and fix it. And you could end up with something that has gone just too far. Only you can decide if you are happy to cut around it, if using one of the other stabilization options in Resolve is a better solution, or if you're happy to reduce the strength of the gyro stabilization effect. Going forward, it would be great if Blackmagic could introduce some sort of dynamic zoom that would apply a heavy zoom to some of the shaky parts and less zoom on the less shaky parts, or an option for when the zoom becomes too extreme, it doesn't apply any stabilization on those parts of the footage. 
If you haven't seen my last video about gyro stabilization in the Blackmagic cameras, you might want to go and check that out. If not, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you around. <clears throat> my voice is going now. Just. Oh.